Hey guys, we're doing a quick little video tour of our camper. This is our grand design of what you could feel. So here's the front door, and here is where you would walk. <laughs> here's in. where the dogs kind of start yeah. to ruin it. We've already started to destroy the camper in just a couple of weeks. We hung up dog leashes. This is our bedroom, and here's the interesting thing. We Shoes. have very little space to store stuff, okay? So you think you have no space to store yours and your spouse's clothes? Well, this is our closet. John's and my clothing. All of our clothing. Summer, winter, fall, spring. This is the only closet we have. So John's coat's in here. I actually have two coats that are not in here, but see how tiny this is. Now, we do have a little dresser drawers. So this is my Ooh, drawer. Look at, the, look at this man. <laughs> this is my drawer and it's pretty overstuffed and then this is John's drawer and then I actually do have a few things up here like underwear and swimsuits um, and I think John might have a couple things up there too but for the most part I mean this is just our clothes um, and then John showed you the shoes I have like seven or eight pairs of shoes I think John has three we do have storage under the bed yeah so, so we bed have a few actually things comes under up. the bed we have um, like computer stuff and like backpacks and um extra clothes for the kids and then here's our little bathroom here's one of our dogs here's the mess our one-year-old made we have these things hanging around the camper because we don't have a dehumidifier yet and these help with the humidity and all campers have humidity issues so um this is our bathroom well you can't really see but this is our bathroom closet and then if you go just bathroom storage yeah and then if the dog will move, you can come see the bathroom. This is our shower that we don't always use. Because our toilet. We don't always, we most, we have not had any sewer hookups thus far. Watch out, Optimus. So we have to conserve our water. So we don't use it to shower Sinks that much. and storage. We got storage right there behind that it's mirror. All of our mirrors are gross, so yeah. Our toilet. This is our shower. It actually is supposed to hang up there, but we have a filter. This thing right here is an added on filter. And it's not a bad shower. Um, it is a little Several. small, I think, for bigger Some people. Roof. I'm I'm five one and hundred pounds, so I can fit pretty much anywhere. But it's a little tight for me. Um, like I said, okay. we're saving water mostly. So these sliding doors and they close. And here's the main living area. So I'm gonna go back to the living area. So this is um, the main living area. This folds out into a bed. Um, this couch is a fold out bed. And then this, fold, this can fold out as well, a table. That converts into a bed. Um, this There's more storage up here. So we store all of our vitamins and cleaning stuff and all that. Um, and then here's the TV. Paw Patrol, obviously. Paw Patrol. We have a really cool fireplace, but I personally would rather have storage than this. But it is nice. That's our heating unit. It's not our heating unit. Yeah. What do you mean? That's where the heat comes from, like, to oh. generate heat. Like, it's our heating unit for the... Oh, well. Sorry. Okay. Oh, man. Wow. This is our, um, it's our countertop. So, it's an I, actual counter. I broke the glass thing that goes on the top of this, but anyway. And then oven, and they're all, ga it's gas, which is new to me. Show them the light. Um, oh, and then we have a light for us. Sweet blue light. And then we have the microwave, which is also a convection oven. Which is yep, also this really combination cool. convection and, and microwave. That's what I mean. Yeah. And then, you know, kitchen stuff, obviously. Storage, our lights. Trash can is under here, which is small. It's much smaller than a regular kitchen trash That's can. That's where our trash can is. This there. covers up for um, travel as well as just extra So that's space. the sink. Why don't you show them the sink? Um, I mean, there's dirty dishes in here. <laughs> Both of these things come up, and it's our sink. Both of these. And then this is extra space as well. This is our sink. You know. This is extra counter space as well if we need it. Yeah, that flipped up. Um, and then we kind of store the kids' toys here as well as underneath the dinette. Um, yep. So we try to not store the most used ones under there because they're harder to get to, and especially that back one. Windows. So we kind of have these bins that float around. Um, and surprisingly in transit, they have, we haven't really had any major mishaps with things breaking or flying about. And then this That's is our fridge. the fridge, which was the only issue that we really had thus far. We really liked this center a lot. Um, I, we love the layout, the size. Um, we were pretty set on brand design because they're a really good brand. 
And so, but the fridge is known to have issues. So we did have issues with the fridge, which we somewhat expected based on our the Facebook groups that we're in. And we had to get it fixed, but they did cover it. And they were really good about covering it and making sure that they paid for it. This is brand new, this is 2019. Um, and then this is the bunk area, which we're kind of a bed sharing family. So we play musical beds. Upper bunk is just diapers. It's more a storage <laughs> We don't use it here. for anything. Um, storage, windows, vents. And then this is um, the lower one, which um, the this kids take naps kids in. Sleep. And then they start the night out in here and they always end up with us. Um, and then the dogs ripped up the curtains. So we have makeshift curtains right now. We had to replace them. So that's number storage. two of the things that the dogs have destroyed. That's their, uh, and then this is their closet. Yep, their closet. And then their little drawers here for clothes. And then their shoes are down here. And I hung up this bookshelf. But they actually have way more books than this. So there's books under there as well. Um, one thing we really loved about this camera was that they have actual doors. So yep. this closes and it magnetizes. So it really does shut. And um, Daniel, I think, can open it. William, who's one, cannot. Um, so we usually just leave it like this. Uh, if they're in here, we have the monitor. Like I said, they end up with us a lot. Um, and our door is also a real door. So I really love that as well. Yeah. It does not have a lock. Now this, if you see the border up here, the border that goes all the way around, that's the pop out. So whenever we move, this whole thing shifts forward, like where the fridge is and the dinette and all that. It all shifts forward when we start to prepare to depart. And also in our bedroom, same thing. Yeah, so we have these stairs that go up because this is a fifth wheel. Again, this is a, a heavier duty um, and more apartment style camper than like a regular travel trailer. Um, yeah, so this overhang goes into the truck. Like where our bed is and everything is the fifth wheel is connection where it hangs, part. Yeah, this is where it's over the truck. And then that's a little pop out right there as well. Same thing, when you look at the border, that's what it'll come forward when we're getting ready to traveling. depart. Yeah. And so our bedroom has a door here too, no lock. Bathroom has doors. And our on AC the side. units, we have one in here in the bedroom, and then the other one is over there and there. That's our cooling unit. So it's a lot we also of have another TV in there. Yeah, we do have another TV in here. It's actually not hooked used. up. <laughs> Um, so there's a lot of maneuvering um, and kind of moving things around. We're still sorting through things even a couple weeks in and we sort of threw everything in um, quickly because John was long distance from us and so he had put things from the house in by himself but me and the kids, we hadn't even seen the camper for months so we came in with stuff from my parents' house where we were staying and then we were just throwing all of this stuff in here and it was kind of madness the first few days so we're still sorting things out even a few weeks in um, and just it's getting used to a, the smaller space isn't too bad as far as the things go. We purged everything. We have almost nothing left. Um, we went from a 2,700 square foot house to this. This is a 34 foot camper, not even 34 feet. And we spent years purging and we sold what, what we could and we gave away the rest and we have a few things still left at my parents house but not a lot we have like two couches and like a couple of boxes for video games and clothes um and so uh and a few baby things but like yeah it's do you want to show them the outside yeah it's an adjustment for sure as far as i think just all of us being together in such a small space but not the stuff the stuff isn't too bad because like i said we got rid of a lot of the stuff so uh -oh. And let me grab him. <laughs> William's gonna have a fit. So usually we hang out out here a lot. So we're outside a lot, a lot more than like I guess we probably were in our house. Even Dan, are did, you coming out? We did have land in our house, but we just we weren't outside <laughs> as much. Bye. Um, we cook out here a lot. <laughs> we eat out here pretty much all meals except for breakfast. Um, and we play out here a lot. This is our TV. Outside. How, how TV. long is this video? Because we need to keep it short. 927. Okay. <laughs> That's then, an SNES classic. And then, I really love this. This is one of my uh, favorite things. We have the little fridge out here. And the fridge. And the cooktops. Cooktop. And I store the Instant Pot out here. And I cook okay. with the Instant Pot a lot. And then we have three storage units. We have one in the back here. This is the trunk. Um, 
I think we have, what, two more in front? Or at least one more. Yep. One so long one in the front. So this store, is the trunk. We store a lot of stuff here. That's our mini washer dryer in the back that we haven't used yet because we just used the campgrounds. Um, washer dryers. External hose. And then... Optimus. Get back in. Uh-uh. Come on. Come on. You gotta get back in. Come on. Go back inside. That's that's Optimus. And then we have Bell as well. You can't really see Bell. Daniel kind of shut you out there. So here's another. So here's uh, number two. Yeah, number two. This storage goes all the way across. So we have our Jeter carrier, ladder, extra boots, that kind of thing. And then this propane tank is in there. The front is all of our like chemicals and stuff. Got a storage, tools. tools, chemicals. They all go in there. So when we say fifth wheel, this is what we mean by fifth wheel. This part over goes over top. Over we got an Anderson hitch in the back. Rocking with a Ram 3500 diesel truck. Yep, so when you are towing a fifth wheel, the fifth wheels are very heavy. Um, and we probably could have gotten away with the 2500, but we wanted to be on the safe side um, because they are a lot heavier than regular travel trailers. And oh. we also wanted to not have to worry about what we're storing in the camper and how much weight we have. This is water connection. Hills. Water connection, dumping. Depending on what you're doing, you have to configure all these different things for if you're dry camping or when you're hooked up to the city water and stuff like that. Yep, so here's water and here's electric. Um, so we've got a uh, surge protector thing that keeps uh, everything safe. And that's our water safe. filter and yep, this so is filter. our surge protector. And here's the pop out. Oh yeah, these are the things popped out. Bedrooms popped out and then the dinette areas popped out and there's our sewage yeah so we're gonna get your poop comes out there we get to get into all of that in the upcoming videos as well so that's pretty much it guys um and we'll upcoming we're going to talk about finances and how we got here and we're going to talk about um like flipping our house basically and we're going to talk about all of the ins and outs of daily life and we'll get into all of that so thanks for joining us bye